Alright, so this is kind of a double video here. Um, first of all, this is kind of uh, my 10 minute solid state Tesla coil. Yeah, you heard it right, 10 minutes. Basically, all this is is random parts I had laying around, so secondary, toroid I had laying around, just wrapped a couple turns of wire. I'm actually using a DR driver, believe it or not, to run this little thing. You know, basic GDT half bridge of, uh, I think those are 30 and 60s, I have no idea. Big old DC block cap that I had laying around. And I'm basically just using a signal gen here to, uh, as the interrupter, the signal gen is basically wired into a fiber transmitter and that's driving the board here it's basically running on base current feedback into the normal um, setup that you, you know you would normally see on that DR board um, yeah and then the basically running off this power supply here so this power supply you know, we turn this guy on essentially we're running about 40 volts not very much power, but the idea was is I wanted to test these new plasma globes that I got. These things are pretty nice. These things are pretty nifty. I've been playing around with them for a while now. See if I can get a better angle on it. I'm not sure which one this one is. This one might be the Argon. Let's see here. Where's the other one? Not the big one. Ah, here we go. This is, I believe this is Argon as well. But this one shows up as, as gr kind of a greenish color. Kind of a cool, kind of a cool color. Yeah, it doesn't want to go off the toroid now, does it? Anyway, then we got this bigger one here. Haven't really gotten much out of him yet. I guess we're just not running a high enough power. You can sort of. Yeah. It's not happening. Let's see if I can grab him. No. Yeah, I haven't really been able to get much off of him yet, and I guess it's just too big of a globe for this coil. It's too tiny. But anyway, yeah, that's plasma globes and 10-minute solid-state Tesla coil.